Hi everyone. Um, I know I haven't um, made a video in a really long time, but I've been dealing with a lot of things, a lot of issues that I really don't want to address right now. But um, today is June 11th, 2011. It's the day that I'm officially 24 years old. 24 years ago, I was born in Heidelberg, Germany by a wonderful woman. Um, she's, you know, my mom is the one that pretty much gives me strength every single day to continue. She's the one who taught me to how to have strength. And like every year that I turn older, I, um, I always give her like a gift, like a thank you gift, because she's the reason I'm here. Like that, I feel like birthdays, the day that I was born, is the day that the mother should be celebrated, not necessarily, you know, like me. Like I'm her product. I, because of me, she risked her life to bring, give me life, you know? So. She's one who went through nine months of carrying me. She went through hours of labor to give me birth, you know, on this day. So I feel like I should be thanking my mom, not necessarily, you know, be like, oh, it's my birthday, give me balloons, give me cake, celebrate me. Like, I'm not into that. I don't post my birthday on. Facebook or I don't really call up my friends and be like yo so uh, today is my birthday like I don't do any of that because I don't feel like it's a day that I should be celebrated it's a day that I should celebrate my mom it's just some it's a day that I should do something special for my mom not a day where others should you know celebrate me I just don't really understand that but I ended up picking up a really pretty card for my mom was like I love horses like horses is my animal and ever since I was little I've always been attracted to horses so my pretty much my room is full of horses so it's kind of ironic that the EDS is represented by a zebra because of the whole confusion between horse and zebra but um anyways I got a Zorz. This is a birthday, a birthday gift to myself. Um, I saw it, and it. I feel like this represents who I am. They call it a Zorz because it's a DNA hybrid of a horse and a zebra, and um, they title it "Hidden in Plain Sight," which is pretty much. How I feel it's like it's my title hidden in plain sight I'm pretty much I feel that way like today I went out with my my little sister and my mom and this lady you know it's a really hot day so we're all you know everyone's wearing summer clothes so I was just wearing this long dress to cover my knees so that I can tape it and walk more easier but, um, you know, nobody sees that. They just see the long, thin girl with, you know, a long, the long sundresses. So, um, this lady comes up to me and says, oh, you know, you're a really pretty girl. And I'm like, oh, thank you. You move on. Guess what my little sister whispers to me? She says, she doesn't know what you go through. And that was it. I'm just like, wow, my little sister's a trip but it just kind of made me think like yeah everyone you know they see my you know i'm 5'11 and i'm 130 pounds hopefully usually i go between i i fluctuate between 125 and 130 but i'm super skinny and pretty tall and everyone's always looking at me like Oh, I wish I had your body and I'm just like if you only knew if you only knew but um 
Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of keep everyone, you know, I'm still here. I haven't made a video in a really long time, but it's because I've just been going through a lot and I'm going to use tomorrow as a happy day, hopefully, and not, or, you know, it's already tomorrow. It's like one in the morning, but I'm going to use today as a day to just enjoy my family and just reflect on my 24 years of life and just think of I guess new ideas for the website which I do have one one of I, I received an email from an old friend that um, sent me some very healthy recipes that um, he's been using to make himself healthier so I was it kind of got me thinking I need I should put a nutrition tab on my site like I'm a, I'm a nutrition minor, so why not use that knowledge and all of my notes and in order to like help you guys? There's a lot of uh, vitamin and mineral deficiencies that could lead to a lot of the symptoms that we all experience. So possibly if you if I'm able to shine light on these minerals and you guys will be able to look through your vitamins and see if you're getting adequate doses so um, I will I'll work on getting that together and I've been posting a lot of the doctors that have been approved already um, approved meaning I've talked to them or one of my team members has talked to them um, and verified that they're willing to accept patients and their you know their address and contact information is okay to be posted on my site and that they legitimately know what Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is and want to actually help. So those doctors have been posted. Um, I have a whole list of doctors recommended from other people that have EDS, but um, it seems like a lot of them have been copy-pasted from the EDNF list and a lot of those doctors don't exist anymore or do not want to be posted up or um, aren't accepting any more patients or have moved to another office and they're not really available anymore. A lot of them uh, never existed which is kind of weird. But I pretty much, I don't want to put up any false information. Whatever is going to be on my site is actually verified. So um, that's the service that I'm providing to my fellow EDSers. I'm, I want to get all of the U.S. done at least by the end of this year so that I can move on to Canada and Canada. Canadian doctors and then from there go to UK doctors and so on but it takes a lot of manpower and a lot of time a lot of patience to deal with those secretaries I think they know it all but um it's it's a lot of work so you know I I'm trying I want everyone to be able to get the treatments that they need and be able to access the people that are willing to treat us and aren't money hungry and or you know have no idea what you know they're talking about but you know tr since they're doctors trying to act like they know what they're doing when they're really hurting us or stopping us from getting diagnosed or um treated or whatever like I just all my doctors or, or all the doctors that have agreed to be on the site have also agreed to um, admit when they don't know and a lot of the doctors that I personally deal with have no problem saying they have no idea but they when they say that when they really have no idea what to do they do research. They actually do research on their off time. Like, that's amazing. I had, for years, 
I've been dealing with doctors and I haven't really seen that. Usually when they don't know, they just don't know and they move on. But Or they'll send you to a specialist that might know. So um, these doctors that I've been dealing with though at Cornell, Whale um, University, it's ridiculous. Like they're in New York. They those doctors are hard working and they care they they take on challenges and every single doctor that i deal with um will be posted on the site so others can reference like they're even i feel like they're worth the travel the trip even if you're not in the area you know if you're from some another state they're worth the travel they're worth it like especially the neuro the, neurosur the neurosurgeon that I saw for my eye, like, he's definitely worth traveling to see. Dr. Dinkin, he's very, very good doctor. So, um, I will try and keep you guys posted. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I've got a long day ahead of me. And I wish everyone well, and I hope everyone's doing well. Visit my site, visit edss.com. Check out all the updates that I've done. I've also posted on some articles for, um, dealing with EDS and the head your head circumference. Like they're mentioning, they're suggesting that people with EDS have bigger head circum uh, circumferences. So um, you guys could read up on that. It's on my, it's on the homepage. A link to it. There's also a link to um, painkillers, uh, charts of painkillers, like comparing them, and like it's it's pretty good, like it's it's useful. So and there's also a link to prolotherapy. There's um, an article that I'm not really I'm kind of on the edge about. Like I really don't agree with it, but I don't want to um, kind of be biased to the resources that I present like others might find that it's useful and there are some useful information in the article so like everything that I post on the site doesn't necessarily mean I agree with it or I condone it or I um or I recommend or anything like that like what I recommend I will post on my blog but like whatever uh, resources that I just find anything that pretty much is legitimized somehow by a doctor or a research facility or something even if I'm I'm kind of like on the fence with agreeing not or not because I'm I really don't know how I feel about prolotherapy yet I haven't heard much about it other than some there's just a m bunch of mixed reviews about it but I don't feel like I should hide that treatment from anyone because possibly it might help someone else and you know I have never had it so I don't know so anyone who has had it I, I hope you guys reach out and let us know like let us know if it's really something that a majority of us can benefit from but um for those of us who does, don't have money to experiment uh, I'd appreciate something you know I'm looking for articles I'm looking for science clinical trials things like that I still haven't found anything when it comes to prolotherapy but um there is a link to a doctor that is suggesting that it might be um, beneficial to Ehlers-Danlos syndrome patients so um that's I think I posted some more quotes and sayings and um yeah so just I, I think that's it I hyperlink some stuff I don't know just let me know what you think sign the guest book if you have a chance and take care of yourself